Okay then, so now we've got the chapter content and the codex content shown on this outline page using HTMX and Laravel fragments. The next thing I'd like to do is trigger another request when we click on the create button up here to fetch the create form template and then another request to fetch the chapter details template when we click on one of these chapter titles because I want to show those templates directly on this page rather than navigating around to different pages. To do that, we'll be using HTMX and fragments again in the same way we fetched all this content and showed it on the page. However, this time we need to do one extra thing because I only want to trigger those HTMX requests for the create form and the details template when we click on these things if we're on the outline page, right? If we're not on the outline page viewing this chapter list, it means we don't have JavaScript enabled in the browser and that we're not using HTMX at all. In other words, we only want to add the HTMX functionality to this button and these titles if all of this content was fetched by HTMX itself. Does that make sense? So how do we do this then? How do we conditionally set up HTMX requests on things like buttons and links? Well, what I like to do is use some kind of flag which we can pass into the blade templates. And that flag should be a Boolean describing whether the request currently being made to send that content is an HTMX one or not. And we already know how to find that out using the request headers. So let's do that now. Let's pass a flag into the chapters view when it gets rendered to tell Blade whether or not it was HTMX that requested it. And if it was, then we can use that to conditionally output some more HTMX features to fetch the create form content and also the chapter details content as well. Okay, so we wanna pass this flag first of all into the index route, right? Because it's inside here that we output the list, not that one, that's the outline, but the chapter index. It's inside this page right here that we output the list of chapters and also the button to add a new chapter, right? So it's inside here, we need access to that flag to detect whether it was an HTMX request or not so that we can use it to conditionally add different functionalities. So let's go back to the chapter controller and inside this index action, we already actually kind of make a flag. This variable right here is HTMX, and this is gonna be true or false, depending on whether it is an HTMX request or not. So all we have to do is pass this value into the view, right? And we can do that right here as a second argument. So the name of the variable, which is is HTMX, like so. And now we're passing that flag into this view and we can use it. So where do we want to use it? Well, we want to add a different functionality to this button if we have an HTMX request. So let me scoot down here like this and then place an if directive. And then we're gonna check if is HTMX. And then we'll end the if at the bottom. So we say end if to do that. So we're gonna dynamically or conditionally, should I say, add different attributes to this anchor tag if this was fetched using an HTMX request. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add on an hx-get attribute, and that's gonna be equal to something dynamic, so double curly braces, and we're gonna say route, and then inside here, the argument will be outline.chapters.create. So what we're doing here is we're sending a request to this endpoint, which is gonna send back the create template for us, okay? So that's if we click there on this anchor tag. We don't need the hx-trigger because the default uh, event that sends this request in HTMX when it's attached to an anchor tag or a button is the click event. All right, so when we click on this uh, anchor tag, it's gonna send this get request and send back the full create page, all right? So now the second thing I wanna do is set some kind of target for this because I don't want to replace this anchor tag or what's inside the anchor tag. I want to set some kind of external target. So I'm gonna to go to the outline page, this index view over here, and I'm gonna come down below this div and I'm gonna create another div right here, and this is gonna have an ID equal to swap. Now this is just a temporary place that we're putting at the moment. Later on, we're gonna create a modal to put all the content in. But for now, I just wanna place the content inside this div. So let's go back over here and we'll add the hx-target attribute. And we're gonna set that equal to that swap ID that we just created. And then the hx-swap attribute is gonna be set to inner HTML. So we're replacing the inner HTML of that div we just created. All right. 
Okay, so now I'm going to do a very similar thing for the chapter titles down here. So we see this other anchor tag, which goes to the show page when we click on a chapter title, right? So what I'd like to do now is actually add some more attributes if this is an HTMX request that grabbed us this template. So I'm going to paste this in and it's very similar. We check, do we have a true value for this variable? If we do, it means this was an HTMX request and we want to add these additional attributes. So HX get going to the same endpoint, but this time we're going to say the tag is the swap ID, same as before. So it's not going to go to these pages anymore. It's going to just grab the content and put it into this target. And the HX swap is equal to in HTML, same as up here. All right, so I'm going to save this now and we're going to see if this works. All right then, so before we actually try this, I'm going to right click and inspect this element. And you can see if we open this up, we have an HX target attribute, we have an HX get attribute and the HX swap attribute. And they're all there because this content was fetched using an HTMX request and that flag was true. So when it's true, we see those attributes, all right? And when we click on this now, then we should see that content down here. We do. So this is all going now inside that swap div. If I inspect again, we can see that it's all going to go inside this swap div right here. Okay. So that's the entire content inside this. And again, we are getting the entire page right here and we are going to change this to be a fragment later on that we get back, but it's working. So that is the create chapter form. If we click on one of these, it should swap it to be the show page, which it does. So that's working. We are showing the content, right? And if we go to the chapters directly, then inspect the element, we shouldn't see those HX attributes because now this page was not fetched using HTMX. And so therefore, when we conditionally render those HTMX attributes, that variable, that flag is going to be false, right? And when it's false, we don't add the HTMX attributes. So all this works the same way as before by manually going to those pages. Awesome. All right, now just one more thing before we finish this video. We've also got this codex section on the right hand side of the outline template, and we've not hooked the links or the button on the codex to HTMX requests. So they still direct you to the relevant pages. Now, the reason I added this whole codex section is so that for everything we learn in the videos using the chapters content, you can apply that to the codex section too. So that's a little challenge for you at the end of each video from now on. Take what we've done with the chapters content and and try and do the same thing for the codex content. And that way you're practicing what you learn along the way. All right. Anyway, in the next video, we're going to tidy this content up that shows when we click on these links or on the button by using fragments again. And we're also going to show the content probably in a modal.